Welcome to Speed Scene Live TV, the only show dedicated to the sportsman racer. Brought to you by Curry Rear Ends, m and Tires, and TheFoat.com. With your hosts, Diana Mike, Bruce Barker, and Scott Lucky Hudson. Yeah, baby, that's right. It's time for Speed Scene Live, and we got a good one for you tonight. But before we do, my name is Lucky. I'm over here wearing my m and Race Master t-shirt. So styling. Diana Might, she's not wearing a Race Master t-shirt. No, Ooh, I'm baby. <laughs> I'm wearing my show shirt. Show shirt, yeah. And you are showing, baby. And Bruce Barker. <laughs> is that what she meant? <laughs> I what thought it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Sounded good, yeah. right? Yeah. And it, wore, it looks good, too. So yeah, that's I guess the important thing. The show okay, me then. state. Yes. <laughs> well, tonight we are going to show you some great video from the NHRA Hot Rod Reunion. And we are going to talk to Chad from Bangshift.com. He's one of the most interesting personalities around. I know you've seen him, what, those live streams. You've seen him at Good Guys Car Show. You've seen him just about everywhere, and tonight you're going to see him right here. But check out this great footage from the Holly NHRA Hot Rod Reunion at Bowling Green, Kentucky. One of the best events of the year. Dynamite, you love that event, don't you? You know what? I had a blast. Got a lot of great footage out there. The people were awesome. Uh, you know, can't say enough wonderful things about Bowling Green. And the cars. I mean, so many cool cars. It's everything from... Uh, these kind of cars, to regular door slammers, to roadsters, right. to funny cars, to dragsters. And, and these guys know how to prep a track. I'll tell you what, it can rain three inches in an hour and a half, and they've got you racing on a finely tuned track within like 45 minutes. Done deal. And, and, and that's exactly what did happen. Yep. It rained, <laughs> poured, flooded, an hour later. Fire your motors. Kind Absolutely. of that typical changeable weather that you find in a lot of states, too, because what we're looking at now is just beautiful weather. There's not a cloud in no, the sky. No, no. They said, I, I talked to one of the locals there, and he said what happens is once the weather gets to, like, a certain temperature, something happens happens in the atmosphere where all of a sudden the storm clouds kind of like gather and then it starts pouring raining cools everything off and then the clouds all go away you know once i get to a certain temperature something happens too i don't know what it yeah. is <laughs> hey, tonight we are not going to talk to brian layton the prp seats and belts off-road report will be on next week Hey, here's a great example of some of the history that's out there. You know, guys had these dragsters that won the, uh, you know, 1960s drag races and stuff, and they bring them out, mm -hmm. they push them down the track, they do cackle fest, they fire them up. And Is they this let one you... of those old cars you're talking about, Lucky? No, no, that's a real ah, race car, actually. I know. That I guy... took that footage. <laughs> ah, that but guy was in my class. He was. Oh. He was a badass car, I'll tell you that much. How did he do since he was in your class? He did good. He did really good. In fact, we're going to show some of the later rounds and you will see that he is still in to some of the later rounds so uh but uh what a great car the helter skelter car apparently he named it after uh dwight garland's dragster is that what it is yes well, hey yes. so what's going on with bob beck tonight right, bob beck will not be on tonight because he is out with the corvette restoration group and he is out gathering information for speed scene live are so. you sure he's not just a little afraid to come back on and <laughs> he, deal with diana might he might be a little scared he might be a little yeah. scared yeah. Or maybe he didn't stop at Porto's and pick up brownies. Is that what the problem oh, that is? that could be. A last-minute yeah. change of plan. That's it. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I want everybody to check out the latest issue of Drag Illustrated Magazine. Beautiful magazine. Wonderful articles in it. And, hey, there's even an article in it by our own famous Lucky. Whoa. <laughs> hey, check out this car here. One of the geezer Ooh, gassers. Ow, ow, ow. He got a little sideways, slip and slide, Ooh. and uh, uh -oh. the track officials actually came up and said, you know, you're a real nice guy. We love your car. Please don't come back. <gasps> really? Oh, stay in the pits until you figure out your problem because you're just a little too wild out there. Wow, oh, that man. was kind of scary. Well, hey, I want everybody to know I would please, please, please like them to sign the petition to help keep Speed World open. Go to www.racespeedworld.com. I did it. If I did it, you can do it. I know Lucky did it. I'm Everybody in the studio has done it. We want you guys to do it, too. We don't need to lose another racetrack. So please 
ladies and gentlemen. Again, www.racespeedworld.com. So it doesn't help if we just go to, like, gots to save speed world. No, we actually have to no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Just checking. I, I just want to make sure. Hey, the NMCA West Series rolls into Pomona this August. This oh. August is like a month from now. That's I can't gonna believe be it. Great. I know, man. There's still plenty of racer tech cards available. So here's what you do: jump in on the fun, man. Come Go to on NMC- down. Yeah, nmcadigital.com is the name of the website. Nmcadigital.com. You sign up to race. It's that easy. Ain't that right, Lucky? That's right. And come on out and race with me. Diana Mites Nova is going to be there. She's putting on a brand new set of M&H tires just oh, for yeah. the event. Oh, yeah. You know what? I, I figured it out out at Bowling Green. I was losing a little traction. And probably those M&H tires, I've had them on for a long time. They lasted great. Time for a new set. Watch out, boys and girls. I'm coming to get you. And meet me out at Pomona. Southern California's quarter mile racetrack. How often do you get a race at Pomona? Never! I haven't raced there in years. I can't wait for this opportunity. Don't let it pass you by. Be there. Get get signed in. Get signed up. Go online. Do it now. Well, speaking of doing it now, Dynamite, <laughs> let's bring on Chad. Chad, welcome to Speed Scene Live. Hey, I'll tell you what, folks, this place is like high dollar. You guys got the cool joint well, down here. Well, you know, <laughs> we may not have a metal scaffolding in a lightning storm like you have. Hey, you know, not everybody we, can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or not everybody wants to. Yeah, we, that too, we, yeah. We, we meet Chad out in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Right. Storms rolling through, rain, lightning. I found out later there was even a tornado warning for the area. Oh, God. And, oh, you never uh, told me about that, well, Lucky. I, did, I didn't know until after right. the event. Chad's on top of a all-metal structure. <laughs> And uh, I think Brian gave him an aluminum foil hat to wear, just in case. <laughs> Was he holding a tennis racket or a golf club up in the air as well? <laughs> Saying, come yeah. get me. <laughs> yeah, that's about how it was, too. I'll tell you, we're not necessarily the smartest guys, but we're dedicated. <laughs> you are dedicated. <laughs> now, uh, in case you're not aware, Bruce, let's say, let's show everybody bankshift.com, one of the best websites out there. You've got a forum. You've got video content. You've got stories. All kinds of great stuff. And but I think what most people think of when they think of Bankshift.com are those great live streams that you do for these events. I'll tell you what, when we started these several years ago, everybody thought we were completely nuts. Uh, why the hell would you guys do this and who's going to watch them? And now, I'll tell you, the, the nostalgia drag racing community has never been more deserving. It's the best drag racing on the planet. Uh, killer nitro funny cars, uh, front engine dragsters, all the gassers, everything that you saw at the National Hot Rod Reunion and that you see at the March Meet. And it's the best best stuff that everybody should be able to watch and it's free on bang shift that's a cool deal everything and it's free i like that you can't ask for much more than that right lucky and of course and of course you can go on anytime you can go on several times you can watch it for a couple hours you know go watch the car get lunch come back catch the finals you know you can just continually come keep so coming if you're back. on one side of the united states and the race that you wanted to go to but couldn't happens to be on the other side of the united states and bang shifts there you just pull it up and you get to watch those cars don't miss anything right well and of course chad we, we'd always rather people came to the event if they're local right if they're but in the not area. everybody has you know the big rig right. in the toter home that can pull across country like you sometimes well, they just can't make it. This is almost as good as being there. And what about people like in England and right. in, in, uh, in other non-American countries? Europe. Yeah. <laughs> well, and we tell everybody if you're within 250 or 300 miles of an event that we're doing live, get off the couch, dude. You're missing out. Because yeah, as totally, cool as it is, totally. it is not the same. And, and then the rest of the guys like you said all over the country, I mean, our normal live broadcasts are 60 to 70 countries. Hell, there's three dudes on the Isle of Man that actually watch us. Wow. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, you my know, God. Look at the, these. You, you know what? Drag race is a lot like sex. You can watch it on TV, but it's more fun to be there in person. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess you're right. But, hey, TV <laughs> works if it's got to. Is the guy falling out of the car there? 
No, but this is a this is a crash sequence, uh-huh. obviously of a pro mod car yeah. that was never released from 2009, I believe it is, uh-huh. and because uh, it looks uh, like the door flew open, oh, and it looked like somebody's body was hanging out. No, it the chute and everything else. I mean, uh-huh. have you ever seen a car that high in the air? No. We've seen oh. funny car bodies that high, but we've never seen a door car that high up in the air. Oh. Yeah, seen I mean, the body, killer, but not with the, deal. not with the car attached to the body. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Do you remember the driver's name? I knew you were going to ask that, and I cannot remember. It says it in the blog item, and Uh Brian would actually know better than I, because I can't remember. It's a guy from the Northeast, though. Uh Um, But it, I mean, crazy, crazy crash, and the guy was okay. Oh, that's awesome. So safety equipment worked. Yes, the roll cage worked. Mm -hmm. NHRA chassis certs. Thank you. It's funny. It happened at a uh, a fastest streetcar event, I think, last year at Vegas. Uh, One of the drivers, GTO, caught air. Went sideways, ended up in the air somehow, and just looked like an airplane flying across. It's just yeah. uh, that was Rick Snavely, and that a very good guy, awesome, awesome guy. We uh, we were live. We saw the entire thing. As out of respect for the family, we always pull out when there's crashes like that. Never zoomed in on it. We don't sure, need sure. that. No. And uh, and the next day, we found out that Rick was going to be okay. All of that. I mean, he was banged up, but but he was going to be all right. Well, he the, probably wanted to see that video and see what. The heck went wrong. <laughs> they did, Honestly. and, and be, thanks to Derek yeah. Lamb and the guys at Lamb Components uh-huh. and all of the Snavely team, we we got them all that video. They mm-hmm. looked at it and tried to you, you know, know ascertain that, yeah, what happened. That helps them do an analysis to see you know what, what happened. Did the wing break or, or or the shoot come out too soon or what? Well, he, the, the guy we just saw, John Bartunek was his name, or uh-huh. Bartonek. I yes. don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's his was name. his name or is his name? Is his oh, name? Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. Important then, boy there. <laughs> De- and then Dennis LeBlanc, I believe, was the photographer. Your shot right, host. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I mean, what an awesome deal! And Dennis has given us some stuff in the past, and mm-hmm. this was one of those deals where we went, "My God, dude, these are amazing photos! How did you put them out anywhere?" And he said, "Hey, they just didn't end up anywhere. Do you guys want them?" And we said, "Well, hell yeah, yeah. we'll take them." <laughs> <laughs> well, Chad, I, I got a couple questions for you. I'm uh, I'm reading crew updates on thefloat.com. And, uh, oh, uh, well, uh, I, uh, let's get to the questions next. <laughs> we could pause We want to see this Winged Express. <laughs> this is one and only in-car and on-car footage of the Winged Express. And for those of you that are Bang Shift fans, you know that we have the finest video of the Winged Express pa- uh, passing burnout, as we call it, from the March meet last year. And it was awesome. But this is from the National Hot Rod Reunion presented by Holly and NHRA. And it's cool. Big Mike is the dude of dudes behind the wheel of this thing. Mm -hmm. Look at the tractor wheel and the way he holds that thing. And he drives it that way down the track. It's It's amazing. It's amazing he can steer it like that. It's like right in his lap. Oh, yeah. And, and uh, you know, I wish he had one hand hanging onto the body like Willie. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah, no, que- yeah. no question. But even Mousy tells him, dude, don't be stupid. You know? Yeah. <laughs> that well, is- now, uh, Chad, we got to tell you, since you mentioned Willie, that actually, you know, Mousy brings Willie's ashes with him to every event. Absolutely. And, and Willie think, yeah, was he- actually right where you're sitting right, right now. He, yeah, he was here in the studio with us and sitting in the same chair he, you're in. He was the first dead person we ever had on the show. It's true. And he was great. That's awesome. Awesome. I bet you he shut up when you asked him to, didn't he? He did. Well, he, he was, he was he, very, I can't very follow quiet. instruction. Yeah. Very, very quiet. Very quiet. Very he's got that, nar- you know, narcolepsy, you know, so he sleeps a lot. But <laughs> Now, uh, you know, i got to tell you, Mike Boyd has got to be one of the, the bravest drivers. Look at how he holds his steering wheel. I told you. Look at that. Unbelievable. 749 over 200 miles an hour. And he doesn't even hold the outside of the wheel. And it's not even a, a race car wheel. No. It looks like it's off a Model A or something. Yeah, yeah. And, and he lets go with one hand to shift. and uh, <laughs> Oh, it, it's awesome. And he's, I mean, he's so calm. And we've seen him at, at uh, Famoso run, you know, 698 in that thing. Uh-huh. I mean, come on. I've seen it. I, I saw him there the one time where the front wheel came off. And uh, he ended up wrecking it, and there were parts all over, and they thrashed, and the rest of the year put it back together. But that that is an amazing team. But let's get back to you. Okay. Let's talk about you, because i got some questions. <laughs> it's all about me. It's all about you. It's, it's <laughs> Chad TV. Okay. Now, uh, people want to know first, what's next for Bankshift.com? Are you doing a stream? Where are you going to be next? You know, we've got tons of stuff coming up. Uh, This time of the year, you know, is crazy races and all that. But our next big live stream is going to be the California Hot Rod Reunion from Famoso. Um, For those of you that are March Meet fans and California Hot Rod Reunion fans, you know that that's where uh, 
uh, that's where we started doing all of the live broadcasts. In fact, I believe this will be our fifth California Hot Rod reunion this year. So we're doing that next. Also in November, don't forget, we have the uh, Streetcar Super Nationals in Vegas, the PSCA race, which is going to be awesome. And we've got a few others that we're going to sprinkle in throughout the rest of the year. And, of course, plenty of racing coverage with photos and stories. And um, we are working on some very interesting interviews with some cool drivers that you are going to want to see. We're going to be doing uh, some video, some audio, and uh, just some text as well. So you'll be able to grab it no matter what you like. We've got plenty of it. Nice, nice. Well, I got another question that we'll get to right after the next break. People want to know, how did you get involved in all this stuff? How did you become, you know, <laughs> bank shit Chad? So we'll get to that right after a word from one of our great sponsors. Hi, this is Heather. Hi, this is Denise. And we're here at Layton Racing. Off-road racing with Bryant Layton. Tune in every week to Speed Scene Live TV to find out what's going on in the world of off-road racing. Coming up next, we have Brian Lane on Speed Scene Live with the Off-Road Report. For over half a century, Curry rear-end components have been twisting out the torque and taking the punishment. And the new Curry lineup is stronger than ever. Some of the world's most capable, hardest-working vehicles depend on Curry gears, which is why you can, too. Street cars, hot rods and resto rods, drag cars, rock-crawling four-wheel drive vehicles, whatever you're piloting, Curry expertise and rock-solid design means the parts will do their job, so you can do yours. Check out Curry's custom rear ends, featuring a full line of upgrades, components, and installation options. The Curry Crate Rear Ends lineup offers ultra-strong construction on third members and carrier assemblies, and other underside parts, like correct link steering systems keep your four-wheeler pointed where you want it. Add in a wide variety of solid purpose-built suspension and brake components and you've got one tough ready-to-go machine. Grab a hold of a Curry rear end. Talk to the experts at 714-367-2679 or view the complete line online at curryenterprises.com. Welcome back to Speed Scene Live TV with your hosts, Diana Mike, Bruce Barker, Scott Lucky Hudson, The Off-Road Report with Bryant Layton, and The Great American Auto Scene with Bob Beck. Oh yeah, and it's another Tuesday night. You're live. You've got Diana Mike here. You've got Scott Lucky Hudson to my left, and you've got Bruce Barker back there. Well, just making sure the show goes Perfect. We've got Chad Reynolds from Bankshift. He's telling us everything that's going on. We want to wish each and every one of you a safe and happy 4th of July tomorrow. Go out, party, have a good time, but come home safe and in one piece. So this weekend, you can go racing. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's yeah. Always hey, a, yeah I've so. got a question for Chad. Okay. Chad, what's up with the thingy here? What's this? <laughs> The beard. The beard has is a life that, of its own. Is, you that, see a, is that a beard? That's what we it's call kind it. Of a, what do they call those Chinese feng shui? Uh, feng we call it the flavor saver, but, but yes. The flavor ah. saver. yes. I always thought the flavor savers were a little bit <laughs> yeah. smaller. No, I, I like a lot of flavor. Middle. Yes. <laughs> no, I like a lot of flavor. And, and That seems like it get a little sloppy. <laughs> it can. Every once in a while you get food in it. You just save it for later. It's fine. Oh, uh, oh you were talking about food. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> me. What? Food? What? I'll tell you, Brian, uh, Brian on... Uh, uh, on April Fools did a uh, joke that the beard had went on strike so uh-huh. it's pretty cool you know people send email to it every once in a while people send <laughs> so it, it's called a beard it's a the beard. beard yeah okay very good yeah <laughs> now you got hair under that hat I do have hair under the hat, but yeah. nobody's ever seen me. Oh, look at that. See? Look at that. Yeah. I, do. Wow. I mean, it's receding, but yes, yes I do yes. have hair. Nobody ever sees me with it, though. The hat is always on, you know. So. I it's you're, backwards. I no, you're it's the right like way. <laughs> everybody else is backwards. Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. Yeah, everybody else is oh, backwards. Righty. <laughs> I kind of thought you were like one of those country western guys, you know, that always wear that, you know, Kenny Chesney's got the giant hat. The big That's hat. true. And That's then true. he takes it off. It's like, hey. Real where, shiny everywhere. Yeah. I would shave my head, but my wife did. Daphne will not let yeah, me. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's no yeah. fun with that. No, no, no. That, you know what? <laughs> I know that all the bald guys out there are trying to say, hey, bald sexy. Yeah. 
You know, I'm sorry, but just not in my book. I like hair. <laughs> well, okay, now I, now that we're, we've caught that covered, <laughs> Chad, how did you get involved in, in this whole deal? I mean, you've become a, a personality, that a, pretty much an international personality. Where did you get your start? You know, it was kind of crazy. I mean, the, the abbreviated version is that in uh, 2005, I had a car featured in Hot Rod Magazine, ended up hanging out with those guys a bunch, uh, became the announcer for... Uh, Hot Rod Power Tour and Drag Week and all of those things and and that's where Brian and I met and Brian Loans my partner on BangShift.com and he's kind of the uh, East Coast and you're the West Coast guy that's right Brian is not only the East Coast guy he's also the guys with thumb or fingers that are only this long because he types his ass off oh, every single night putting up all the content so pretty soon we're gonna have to give him bion- bionic fingers so but is, yeah. he, is he the brains and you're the personality oh, clearly not I am the beauty and the brains <laughs> yeah. Dynamite, how do you feel about guys with little tiny fingers? Well, I wouldn't, no, never I mind, wouldn't even never go mind. there, hey, Lucky. Hey, wow. that's, that's, that's mine or normal. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to go there. No, so we, we did all that. Brian and I met on Drag Week, and uh, a few years later, David Freiberger from Hot Rod Magazine and I started Car Junkie TV, and unfortunately, due to economic timing, that was an epic failure. And so uh, well, we... Well, it, it was just ahead of its time, is it, what you need to it say. Was. It, it was. It was very much time. ahead of its time. So maybe... You know, in the future, time will catch up with it, and it'll be success. No, it doesn't have to be, because now... They There's have- Bang Shift. That's uh, exactly it. Right. And Brian and I started Bang Shift when uh, when Car Junkie TV went away, and the rest, as they say, is history. And and we've been growing crazy well, since it, then. And it's all about moving up to the next level. Maybe Car Junkies was one level, and now Bang Shift is the next level above that. Oh, the, by far the evolution. You know, first there was the the caveman hunched over. Yeah, I don't and now there's that. you know Homo erectus. Yeah, yeah, I don't believe yeah, in that. Yeah, I think I'm still a caveman. I, 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 I'm still into the Adam and Eve thing. Lucky, so okay. don't go there well, with me. I'm well, trying to figure out if Homo erectus can be said on the air. I'm not sure if that's you know. Listen, let, let's take a little break real quick here because I want to go back to Kentucky and Chad. Let's let's meet a couple of the racers that you actually showed on your live stream, and uh, we'll get a chance to see some of these people, and uh, we'll actually get a chance to let them talk and tell them a little bit about themselves. Like these people right here hanging out in the pits. What's your name? Jimmy Cosby. Jimmy, where are you from? Alton, Illinois. You having fun this weekend? I'm having a fabulous time. Well, now we're going to meet some of the gas eliminators. What's your name? Dan Hobbs. Dan, I hear you won the event last year. How are you doing this year? Uh, still hanging in here. Got to run a guy running the finals this, this round. Oh, yeah? Let's see what's going on this year. What do you think all this rain? I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to do a good job, right? I'm going to give it my best shot. You got a beautiful T-Bird. What year is it? 1956. How long have you had it? Since 2005. What are you running in it? A uh, big block Ford. Big block Ford. So you're, you're keeping it Ford all the way, huh? Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, good luck. Now, this little red Nova did a great job all weekend, ran high eights, low nines. The driver really did a good job, made it all the way to the last eight cars, and damn it, the car wouldn't start. He's he's pumping the butterflies. He's trying to get it to go. You hear Diana Mike? there. What's your name? Paul Cisco. Paul, how are you doing today? You having fun? Having a good time. How many times have you been to the Savannah Bowling Green? Uh, All together, every event that's been here, so nine. Have you won any of them? No. How far have you gotten? Down to the uh, quarterfinals last year. Quarterfinals? Great. You're doing good this year. Uh, how do you feel about it? Uh, I'm here to win it. Well, you're hearing a beautiful Chevy, too. What year is it? 63. What do you got under the hood? 540, big block Chevy. 540, and you are? D- D-gas. D-gas. Yeah. Very good. So what's your ET? Uh, it'll run faster than the index, but it's a 90 index. Shh. Say that. Okay, Nido. Okay, very good. Now, here's the Curry Rear End Speed Scene Live Nova coming up. And yeah, I made it to the last eight cars. Who's filming this, Lucky? That's you filming oh. it. And also, Mr. Number 70 with a big camera doing something, too. <laughs> he wouldn't move his butt out of the way. You yeah, know, that, yeah. He didn't need that big old camera. I think it was just there for the look. <laughs> well, <laughs> next time you see this car, you're going to see a cool new Curry logo on the side. Right now, it's just got that good looking paint job. Hi there, Lucky. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm excited to be here at Bowling Green. I'm in the uh, Gasser Eliminator. 
I'm running 950 index. Okay, we've had a little rain. How do you feel about your car? Well, the car's fine. The track will probably be fine. It really rained a lot, a lot of rain. So uh, I have no idea about the tune-up. Talk to you later. Well, I cut a great light, but the car did not like the rain. The humidity was high. It fell off. It ran a uh, 966 on a 950 index, and that ah. was the end of the night for me. But the guy that I raced got all the way up to the final round and was runner-up. So he didn't seal the deal, but he had a pretty good day. And that Corvette over there in the far lane with the big Holly sticker on it. Now, wasn't there someone special driving that Corvette, Lucky? Mike Fugoy was driving it. He's well, a hitter. Is, yeah, hitter. I was yeah. like, what do they call that when they bring in like someone yeah. special for the baseball game yeah, where they, they know they, he's going to hit the home run? Like a pool shark, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. they brought in Mike, Iron Man Mike. But check out this Nova, man. Isn't that cool? It's beautiful. It's, that it, Nova was so clean. Now, i got to mention, before I get, turn the show back over to all chat all the time, that <laughs> Diana might actually went down I won a lot of rounds. More rounds than me, actually, because her class was bigger, and she nanner, did a nanner, great nanner. job. So uh, not only is she uh, talented as far as doing the camera, mm. but, man, she was wicked behind the wheel of that Curry Nova. Yeah, that, that little boy in that little... What, what kind of car was that? A Triumph or something, Lucky, that you raced? Uh, that Austin, little, Austin, Austin Healy. Healy. Yeah, the one that put Lucky out. Well, I put his brother out. First round. Uh, Had a badass Jaguar. Bam! Oh. I cut a light, and I won. You no, know, <laughs> was that the Austin? It wasn't Austin. It was an MGA. Oh, oh you're yeah. right. You're yeah. right. We did, a, we did a big feature on it mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. on Bang Shift, and it's awesome. And, and I'll tell you, you know, you guys were doing interviews uh -huh. with all the fancy people, including yourselves. Um, <laughs> two of the other cool things you asked earlier about that are on Bang Shift, one of them, E.J. Potter's son. E.J. as in small block Chevrolet, motorcycle, seven grand, kick out the kickstand and run it down the track at 200 miles an hour. His son is doing an interview with us. That will be up next week. And Art Arfons, his boy, um, boy is rebuilding. Yeah, Art Arfons. <laughs> I know. They are rebuilding a, uh, a really neat turbine-powered car. And that story went up last week, so look for that oh. on Bank Shift. Isn't oh. that one of the things that's cool about the Hot Rod Reunion, where you get so many different kinds of cars, so many different styles. And so it, many different people. I mean, you get so many different stories. It's, it's great. Well, and I'll tell you, the National Hot Rod Reunion is better at that than any other event. Um, we talk about how great the March Meet is in the California mm -hmm. Hot Rod Reunion, and the racing there is even bigger than at the at Bowling Green. But the car show oh, and my the, goodness. It's the car show is insane in Bowling Unbelievable. The, the Unbelievable. The car show puts, uh, and that's what I said, in California we may have more racers, but out there in Bowling Green they kick our butts on the car show. I mean, I just drove and drove my little scooter for, it seemed like miles looking at all the beautiful cars. What was there, like, like 12, 1,300 cars? Jeez. Oh, at least. In the car show? Sure. And and the thing is, too, it's not a bunch of guys in 32 Fords with their lawn chairs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You saw the old yeah. Indy car that was sitting there mm -hmm. that had been drug out of the barn like now. I mean, rusty <laughs> yeah, headers, yeah. all the bitching stuff. I mean, these things are killer. I, I saw my, of... my dream car there, too. It yeah, was yeah. a gentleman by the name of Don. He owned it. I talked to him. <laughs> it was a 67 uh, Shelby Cobra, red with white stripes. Holy yeah. moly. I, I, it, was, it was phenomenal. Keep dreaming, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better get the checkbook out there, big boy. Now, yeah. now speaking, speaking of dream cars, Chad, what's your dream car? What kind of a car guy are you? You know what? I already own my dream car. I have a 69 uh, Camaro convertible that was a 1978 national champion stock eliminator car, multi-time national record holder. Wow. Um, yeah, very cool deal. 255 horse, 350 car, runs high 11s when it's running, but it isn't right now. Shut up. Don't make any comments. It's okay. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> I got plenty of parts yeah, strewn about yeah. from about three or four cars. Yeah, yeah we're, we're all there with you. We we. Huh. <laughs> but I have got lots of other run. projects too. I'm a muscle car guy in general, mm -hmm. but my list is long. If I was a billionaire tomorrow, trust me, there would be a lot of new things in the uh, Reynolds driveway. And you would suddenly be a millionaire, not a billionaire anymore. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Yes, yeah. you know. Uh, and it's funny mentioning Holly, the sponsor, of course, of the event, because uh, I just for the first time in my life, you know, I've been I've been dealing with Holly carburetors since I was a little kid. Sure. They've I've been around finally, forever. Yeah. I bought a new one. 
Did you really? Good for you. I, I bought a new one. I think it's a 4160. Pretty small uh, uh, cubic feet per minute flow for a, a small block. And it's like, because I cannot figure out what's going on in this other carburetor. And now I'm just going to get a Holly and bolt her on and I'm going to drive. And that's there you go. Feel. And that's how they work. Pull I them know. out of the box. Bolt them on and go. And I know. Then, and then you don't touch it for five years. That's going to rock. Uh, you, you guys could not be more right. We spend so much time on the dyno out at West Tech Performance Group, and we run all the Holly stuff. And, and their products are amazing. Even Their new EFI systems, just as easy as doing a Holly carburetor as well. So, no way. Yes, they are. I'm telling you. They have the hmm. best stuff in the business. It's why they're one of our sponsors on Bank. Are kind of complicated to put those systems on, though? I mean, how, how long does something like that take? You know, it depends on the car. Obviously, mm-hmm. if you're doing a you know fuel injection setup in a 23 Ford Roadster, it's going to be easier. you got <laughs> sure. less car sure. to wire. Sure. Um, but in general, um, a few days and a guy can have this thing done. And I'm talking doing it so that it's all pretty and it's put uh-huh. in there right and everything. But the process from the time you get it wired to actually firing the engine if you follow the instructions, put in the parameters that they've got with Holly's, you know, instructions. They actually give you instructions because there's so many times you get awesome. a part and then there's a picture. And I'm like, <laughs> like yeah, no, this no. is how it's supposed Furniture. to look like. But how do I get it to that point? <laughs> no, the Holly stuff works great. I mean, we've used it a ton. And really, it, it is. You put in some parameters from mm-hmm. your engine combination, sure. hit the button, and it's going to fire up. And it, That's it's, amazing. It, they also have self-learning. So once it wow. fires up, you can flip the switch. It'll do all of its stuff on its own. Own. I mean, it's a pretty trick setup. See, now I want to buy more Holly stuff. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what we're objection. here for. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. hold on. Let me rattle off everybody else that's on the <laughs> list. <Okay. laughs> now, uh, we, Bruce has another great clip of uh, the Winged Express, but it's the outside passing burnout. And uh, you guys did a great job of filming it. I actually uh, watched, I was standing, I was one of the guys standing there watching it, and I was just like, Oh man, that guy in that other car Woo! must have freaked. Oh, 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 oh. oh. and if, if the the best deal is the very end of this video when I'm yelling at the camera. It's, well, we it, cut that part out. Oh, uh, I'm sure. Yeah, we we got uh, you live in studio. We don't need a picture. Oh, of you. Yeah, I can replay it. Trust me, because <laughs> this was the most bitching thing I've seen on a drag strip in a decade. I mean, how in the hell does that go down? What you don't see, and we didn't slow mo it because we didn't want the insurance guy to be pissed, was that um, there was a dude <laughs> hopping the wall to guide the other altered back and he went whoa and let the wing go by (laughs) now here's the part that i think is the most incredible because i'm thinking from the the aspect of the car in the right hand lane yeah after watching the winged express do a burnout and pass me on the right (laughs) the guy stages the car (laughs) and runs the car doesn't lift doesn't do anything wrong. He tries to win the race. And I thought, you know. That guy's it, brave. He's got balls, man. Yeah. Because oh, after yeah. seeing that, I would have just I'd got have out of the up. car. I would have yeah. backed up and went away. I, I'd, have let, I'd, have let the, I'd have let the wing leave first and then leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, you know, he, he had to be embarrassed at this point because the wing still beats him back to the starting line. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He yeah. did half as long a burnout. Well, the guy's still the second guy. shock when he sees the winged express <laughs> yeah. coming around on his right. I hey, mean, you know, that's because of my. I always refer to the puck and roll interior when something oh. scary goes on mm-hmm. and it's just a, it took a few minutes for him to relax and get out of that car I guarantee it oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet you're right here come the lights now check it out he, he leaves hard he runs the car all the way down side by side which you know thank god they stay in their own lanes yeah. and the wing goes 727 at 205 and takes the win look at the, the wind win line. but the other guy went 729 I mean the other guy was hauling buns oh yeah no, this was a good race, no question. That was one of the best races of the whole day, and that was a great day. I mean, that that was the so much happening, and just to see that burnout, and then to have them back up and run a race, <laughs> I was just like, this is insane. How do people not get off on this? Well, you know what's funny about it, though, is that every time you go to Famoso and you go to the March Meet or the California Hot Rod Reunion, there's a bunch of stuff like that that's going on. I mean, it's everywhere. And if you don't have fun going to one of those races, then, dude, you should take up golf and get out of the sport. I got no, no patience for you. You are not a hot rodder anymore. Now, Chad, I got a question here on the Foat.com, the crew updates. It says, 
Uh, ask Chad about the 48-hour build. What's that all about? Oh, dude. Last year, we built a car uh, at Ride Tech, one of our sponsors, at their facility in Jasper, Indiana. And we took this beautiful 67 Camaro. When I say beautiful, had a nice paint job on it, had a 383 and a Turbo 350 in it, just a plain, nice little hot rod with a set of torque thrusts, drum brakes, stock interior, all that. We took this car, and the goal was 48 hours. It turned out that we did it in 47, sure. but we did every single thing thing to the car except paint because the paint was already nice interior wiring uh plumbing new suspension new curry rear end ah. we did of yes course. We is did there it. any other no curry 12 <laughs> bolt in the car we did all the suspension brakes everything wheels and tires ling and felter engine um you know american powertrain transmission in the thing with a gear vendors interior stereo glass everything. 47 hours. Drove it 300 miles to Nashville and raced the piss out of it. And I'll tell you, those guys that do the overhaul and TV show, beat it, boys and girls, because you got no skills whatsoever. Ooh. We owned you on that deal, and we can do it anytime we want. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you so need now, it. what's the 48 hours? Why did it have to be done in 48 hours? Because every time you see one of these TV shows where they're building stuff online... There's a lot of yelling they, and screaming, and it has to be done. It has to be done. Oh, yeah. Why does it have to be done in this little amount of time? Yeah, I just why can't, can't you grasp just, that concept. Why can't you just start two weeks earlier and yeah. then two weeks? Yeah. Well, you know what? And that's what we said. And we said we don't need to do it with all that drama. Yeah. We put together a team of guys. There were about a dozen of us over there at Ride Tech. Mm -hmm. We put this thing together. And in order to let everybody watch it get built 100% live, mm -hmm. we did three 16-hour days. Okay. So we did the 16-hour days. We stopped working on the car, turned out the lights, put an actual clock in front of the camera, and I slept next to it every night live 24 hours a day so that there was no crap of getting it tinkered on by the little minions behind the scenes like go on on the TV show so it was mm -hmm. the real deal that's right no elves were you know building yeah. shoes yeah. over now yeah. I gotta know though I gotta know how many energy drinks and packs of cigarettes did it take <laughs> oh dude like jillions we had great food thanks to the ride tech guys we um I, I did drink a lot of Mountain Dew um and Diet Coke which was not not sponsoring it and that sucked but um, shame on them i know shame bastards. shame well we got to take a break right now because we've got a diet coke commercial we need to pay. oh good good and, uh, write the check boys they, they, and girls. they're paying us a lot of money and it just doubled so thank you very much we'll be back right after we play this commercial and take all that money to the bank <laughs> Hey guys, this is Eileen Stafford. You can see me driving this Strange Brew AA Calm Coupe, and I watch Speed Steve live. MH Tires, makers of racing tires that give you the best bite for the buck. You've paid a lot for that horsepower. Make sure you use it all. MH Tires has the best compounds available for maximum traction. Go to mandhtires.com. That's M A N D H tires.com. Buy direct and save at the website and mention the speed scene for a 5% discount. That's right, mnhtires.com. Call them at 661 324 4773. MH Tires has tech guys ready to answer your questions or to recommend the best tire for you. Slicks or DOT. MH Tires has it all. MH were the first to create racing tires. For muscle cars and also the first to create racing tires for sport compact cars. Legendary MH tires. Shop online, mention the speed scene, and save 5%. Get the best racing tires, great personal service, and save 5%. Go to MANDHtires.com or call them at 661 324 4773. MNHtires.com.
forces that has served to defend our great country and our freedom. All of us here in the United States of America would like to offer our sincere appreciation for all that you do and all that you've done. To every family that has made a sacrifice for us, we thank you. Welcome back to Speed Scene Live TV with your hosts, Diana Mike, Bruce Barker, Scott Lucky Hudson, the Off-Road Report with Bryant Layton, and the Great American Auto Scene with Bob Beck. And welcome back. We got us a really big shoe in the house. I'm Bruce Barker, and there's Diana Might. Welcome. There's Lucky Hudson. Ho, 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 ho. There's Chad from Bankshift.com. Yeah, there you go. steady. It's that funny that, exactly, that, that I have no idea, but I've been doing it forever. I don't know. Metallica does it. Does it I was right? going to say, dude, rock stars right yeah. here. I don't I know. It was like yeah. a Hawaiian thing. La- no, that's no. this. No, deal. it's rock and roll. That's Later, he's going to go trash a hotel room. Yeah, hey, yeah. we are in North Hollywood. You know, there have been some crazy parties in this part of the. <laughs> well, that's very true. And I had to drive all the way to Irvine last week to see Def Leppard, and there was lots of that going on. Whoa. Dude, Def Leppard, that would have been rad. <laughs> they were stunningly good. Really? I mean, it, it's the kind of thing where you go, man, that's like 25 years ago. And they were unbelievably good. I so think you, it was more than 25 years ago. Yeah, maybe yeah. it was. <laughs> I'm on the music kick right now of all the 90s hair band stuff that I used to listen to. It's all in my iPod, like Skid Row and Motley Crue yeah, and all yeah. that. I can't get enough right now. I don't know what it is. Yeah, man. <laughs> And that was my life in the 80s. Oh, there you yeah. go. Right there, Mr. Was... <laughs> Mullet. Yeah. Oh, I had one. We called it 5 hair. Mustang 5 liter guys. You know, the 5 It was a 5 <laughs> hair. Yeah. That's what we called it. Unterglieben, Glauben, Globen. Yeah. Excellent job, my friend. Right. Thank you. <laughs> did you buy the T-shirt, Bruce? I did not. Oh, what? I know. Dude, you got to get t-shirt. the one with the two-thirds sleeves that were white and yes. then the shirt was black. Yeah, and the... Come on. I know. Uh, now, I got to remind people about Drag Illustrated Magazine. Here's the latest issue. Go inside. You can see my column for Curry right. Rear Ends, the Curry Sportsman Spotlight. So we Which were just talking about, about it. Look how big it is. It's yeah. huge. Yeah, and of course, <laughs> and, and of course, there's the Kino, the race dogs in there, too, oh, nice. you know, because he goes uh, all the races. If you can't get your hands on the actual magazine, shame on you, because it's an awesome magazine. But you can go online, dragillustrated.com. You can read it online. And this is Great. this is actually still thick, so it actually has verbiage in there, guys and girls. It, yeah, it, it, it is. It's a real magazine. Like real thin, <laughs> paper thin. Yeah, this is really nice, good quality stuff. The real deal. The yeah. real deal. Nice to have oh the goodness, real look deal. Look at that. Hey, Chad, you were out there running all the cars. I'm sure you had your favorites out of the Hot Rod reunion. One of my favorites is a group called the Geezer Gassers. And uh, I don't know if you notice them or not, but they a great bunch of people, wonderful, wonderful personalities, great bunch of nostalgic cars. Oh, they're incredible. The Geezer Gasser guys, not only are they and totally girls. cool. And girls. Sorry, yes. yes. Um, I use the term guys loosely. Uh-huh. Um, they uh, they not only have bitchin' cars, but bitchin' stories, too. And I, they'll only let them run the eighth mile for a lot of those cars. But, dude, wheels up, changing lanes, all kinds of crazy. <laughs> those dudes have never heard of a two-step either, my friends. No, While an MSD they... is a great thing we all know and love, uh-huh. those bastards are like eight <laughs> grand valve float, dump the clutch, all in. They're <laughs> full on all the time. And you know, these guys, a bunch of them actually came out to Bakersfield from the East Coast last year for the March meet and towed all the way out, brought a bunch of cars, had a great time, and they said they're trying to put together another trip to do it again. God, that's unbelievable. Now, but... here's the guy that actually won the Geezer Gas event, uh, came all the way up from Florida in the Black Willies and uh, ended up racing uh, Chuck Lipka and his Blue Willies in the final and took the win. It was a close race, great race, and uh, boy, it was just a lot of fun. Man, somehow it's fitting for a couple of Willies to be in the final, too. Somehow those things just exemplify gassers. I don't know why. Well, <laughs> well, and suddenly there's sort of like 32 Fords and 69 Camaros where I swear there's more of them out there than they ever actually manufactured. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, and I have well, no issue with that. Once, once you buy a car, you notice that same car everywhere. Have you ever noticed that? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. like you buy a car and you're like, Damn, I never really noticed that car, but now they're everywhere. Yeah. Well, people say that about our 66 Chevy Novas, because yeah. you never see them driving around on oh, the street. No. But go to the racetrack. And they're everywhere. Yeah, go to a car show. They're everywhere. 
Um, you know, another thing I want to say about the Geezer Gassers is they threw a wonderful barbecue on Friday night, and they make some killer corn-fed pork chops. I oh, tell you, the man. spread was phenomenal. You're making me hungry. It was, oh, know. you know, I mean, they were like an inch and a half There's thick. 200 of them, Barbecued. Um, here's, here's Chuck Lipka, and uh-huh. he's the one that actually got the runner-up in the event. That's yeah. right. We talked to Chuck a week or two ago, didn't He's we? a super nice guy. Him and his wife. They're great people. Um, you know, he's he actually, didn't he take the battery out of his car, Lucky? When that, yeah. That's Tell right. Tell him the story. Come well, on. Uh, okay. Ready for first round of eliminations? My car won't start. Put it on the charger. Nothing. It won't charge. The battery's dead. Short it out. Chuck took the battery. He's in staging. I, Wait. Got to gotta do the whole thing. Chuck is in staging getting ready to race. But Lucky's ahead of him in staging. Pulls the ba- He says, hey, do you think we got time to put my battery in your car? And, and I looked over, and my first inclination was to say, no, there's no time. But instead, for some reason, I said... <laughs> Sure, let's try. (laughs) So we pulled the battery out, went over, put it in my car, started it up. My class is already going down the track. (laughs) And I pulled in the back of lanes, and they said, go for it. And I won the round, thanks to Chuck and his battery. Exactly. And, you know, we couldn't couldn't use my battery because my posts were on the top, and Lucky needed a side-mounted post. So that's why we got Chuck's. And, you know, we want to send him a special warm thanks. All those guys, all those geese are gassers where they'd give you the shirt off their back. You know, and that's what or racing's the battery all out about. of your car. It, it is, you know, <laughs> it's just uh, you get a warm, fuzzy feeling, you know? Yep, yep, good people. It and, is, and, and you know, it's funny because drag racers or road racers or, you know, autocross guys, whatever, racers in general are awesome people that are going to help each other out. But as a guy that grew up at the drag strip, I'll tell you that if I got to pick one, the guys that are running at the drag races are the finest human beings on the planet with regards to helping each other out. You know, it's it's this whole thing about cars. I look back in old pictures of my dad and my dad's friends. We were always standing in front of my dad's car. You know, it's like we would pose. Now, what kind of cars did he have? Oh, man. My dad had, like, some bitchin' cars. He had, like, a 37 Chevy. He had the um, retractable, retra- the Ford retractable hardtop, the 57, the 57 Cadillac that I still have to this day. He had a 40 Ford business coupe. High boy coupe. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Daddy had everything. And, and just the coolest thing to look at those old pictures with me and my little, my, actually, they're big brothers, but, you know, standing in front of these cars, you know, it was, you it, know. It was, it was that's what it was all about about people and their cars and at the racetrack that's what it's all about it's about people and their cars something that just you have in common and it brings you together i agree with you wholeheartedly and i always say you know back in 1950 the family went and bought a chevrolet and they brought everybody out in the whole family and put them in front of the house and they had their house and their 50 chevy <laughs> sitting there in the picture because they were the two most important things in their lives that is nobody so does true. that crap with a yeah. camry okay yeah. despite what yeah. the toyota commercials try and yeah. convince you of that's <laughs> not the case. Nobody's bragging about a Prius. No. No. <laughs> no. Although I do have to thank all the Prius owners on the planet because thank you very much for saving us so I can continue to burn all the hydrocarbons <laughs> oh, I want. God. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Save those Ouch. dead dinosaurs for us, baby. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know yeah. what? They died for a reason and it would be rude not to use that up, you know? That's exactly. true. It would have been a pointless death. It would have been. I mean, I come on. Their so, lives needed purpose. You guys go out, get 50 miles to the gallon, try to not drive your car on weekends, save the gas. I'm going to get my four gallon to the mile, <laughs> 900 horsepower Nova and do wheelies down the track. Thank you very much. It's a fair deal. I, I think it absolutely is, and I think it would be rude of us not to. <laughs> now, Chad, we're talking drag racing. We're talking all kinds of cars, but actually, you do have a big investment in the. Uh, uh, autocross type arena. I, I see you announcing. You're the number one good guys guy. I see you. There's this. I, I don't know the name of the company. It's a, one of the big uh, race car companies. They built that really cool, like wine colored Nova. It's like a '62 to '64 that was uh, doing uh, autocross. That got like Nova the Year award. Oh, you're talking about uh, the guys from RPM, I believe. Right, yeah. right. Out, out of Pennsylvania, right. Kurt Ukasik and those guys. Awesome. That car's called. The runt, and uh, it is because it's the smallest Chevy two. It's a sixty two, so it's the smallest Chevy two there was, and it is 
bitching. That car is awesome. And, and you know, I am. I'm involved in all that autocross world, all the pro touring world. And, and quite frankly, even on Bang Shift, we have a lot of that stuff. In fact, Brian was reminding me that um, we're going to be at the American Le Mans race to cover the GM Corvette team um, coming up soon. So, in fact, this weekend. So it's Corvette versus the world, which will be very cool. And uh, well, That sounds like a fair challenge. Oh, yeah. yeah. I agree. <laughs> well, a Corvette's a perfect autocross It car. is. Oh, um, and, and I'll tell you, we, you know, we go to all these good guys shows. I announced at all the good guys autocross events and and it's really neat though to see all the guys with muscle cars that come out because now at the good guys shows we have a deal called super sunday where on sunday any american made or american powered vehicle regardless of year can come into the good guys show so all these guys come in with their new cars and try and beat up on all of us Uh. guys with the old cars on the autocross Uh. and when you've got guys like brett vocal from ride tech and then you've got the guys from uh, detroit speed and you know chassis work and all of them, the Roadster Shop, all these guys with bitchin' hot rods that handle better than a new Corvette. Some of those modern car guys get a little bit embarrassed, let me well, tell you. you know, they get so, butt hurt. Yes. <laughs> and it's so weird, too, because, you know, the modern technology for engines is just excellent. And for drivetrain components in general. And yet, uh, you know, they have to sacrifice at least some, even though the handling of a modern car is also vastly improved than most of what we're driving for older cars. But, uh, man, modern cars are so much heavier. Because, oh. you know, because of, of all the safety gear and junk they got to have in there. And there's, uh, there's just a lot more weight to sling around. There is. Is. I mean, try and go buy a Camaro or a Corvette nowadays without air conditioning and power windows. Yeah. <laughs> I defy you to be able to do it, boys and girls, unless you buy a body and white car, and then it comes with nothing mm. uh, but the outer sheet metal, and even some of that is missing. But, um, yeah, the new cars are so heavy with sound deadener and all that junk. Now, here's yeah. Diana Might and her car. Did you like up, that burnout? He yeah, that's a the good M&H's. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah that's I like a- the little dry hop, too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I did that. I, I was having... It's part of your routine, you know? Yeah, you know, I didn't mean to, but You're it You're kind of like Wild good. Willie Borsch when they say, why do you drive one-handed? He says, what are you talking about? I don't yeah, do that. but I stay in my lane. That's yeah, important. sure, go sure. St- my whole philosophy, go straight, go fast, stay in your own lane. There Ooh, you nice go. Nice light. Yeah, baby. Yeah, and here's one of my favorite cars. This is Herman, one of the local racers. Is that a who Studi? He said, I'm going to race a Studebaker station wagon. <laughs> But I'm going to put fuel injection and have the stack sticking out of the hood. I approve wholeheartedly, my friends. I am a wagon freak. (laughs) He's the greatest guy. He's a cabinet maker back there. And uh, really the greatest, the nicest guy, real friendly. And uh, he's a man of class and style. Oh, and that's even a two-door wagon, Chad. I know. So cool. Oh, boy, was that my filming? (laughs) Well, it could have been me. I don't know. I don't recall filming that car. Oh, you know what it must have Blame it on Lucky. Nobody's going to prove you wrong. There you go. You know what? Didn't that car go right after me? Maybe it did. (laughs) You're off the hook. I think I was tripping a little bit. I think I I was racing. How did that didn't get edited out? I'm going to have to talk to my editor. You got stuck on some VHD. There's a problem there. (laughs) Yeah, really. The track (laughs) was so sticky. (laughs) Well, I was just so happy to get video of him, you know, because, you know, I I, I always try to get his car every year, and I hadn't got any video, and then Mm -hmm. I was, like, getting ready to go back, and I was like, whoa, whoa, wait, he's coming up. I'm going to have to have a little talk with him next time. Uh, I didn't see a Speed Scene Live sticker on there, Lucky. (laughs) The last time I saw him, he says, Hey, Lucky, you going to put my car on TV again? (laughs) Well, that's a sweetie. Now, uh, uh, we've got a segment that we do called What's Going On, where we talk a little bit about upcoming races and stuff. But, Chad... What's going on with you and Bankship? Where are you going to be next? Uh, we got Brian and the guys that are going to be hanging out with that Corvette team this next weekend, which is going to be awesome. We'll have tons of coverage of that that's going to be up on the site, so you guys will get to see what it's like to hang out with a GM factory team. I'm going to be in Columbus, Ohio at the Good Guys Show, which is going to be huge. It's the biggest Good Guys Show of the year. We will have photos. There's going to be a giant autocross shootout for all the sponsors of the autocross, most of whom are also Bang Shift sponsors like Rocket Racing Wheels and Ride Tech. And uh, and we're going to have just a lot of cool content coming from both of those deals this weekend. And if you check in next week, you're going to see a whole lot more right here in BangShift.com. So make sure you check out BangShift.com regularly. Go on every day. Check out the stuff. Great forum on there. Sign in. Become one of the members there. And uh, Yeah, we have six to ten news items a day, Lucky. Jeez. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah, it's a magazine every three days. What are those slackers doing? Uh-huh. <laughs> 
I kid, I kid. Yeah, they're saying, how are we going to pay for all that paper? <laughs> yeah. See, we're the green alternative to magazines at bangshift.com right. because we don't kill any trees. Well, except see, the kind you... with lights going down each side. <laughs> Nicely done. What you lack in Prius is you make up in the lack of killing trees. Exactly. So all... Plus, exactly. you uh, you get all the content on right away. It's not like, hey, this is what happened six weeks ago. Uh, yeah. yeah. I know. Isn't the internet a wonderful thing? God, I'm is. glad Al Gore invented it. Yeah. You know, he was a busy bastard, wasn't he? <laughs> now, there's a great race coming up in August for the NMCA West Series. And, uh, but, you know, Diana, Mike, we should mention... We should, Lucky, and I thought you were going to forget. But you know what? You saw that. Was I, like, burning a hole in the side of your head? Something. You know what? What's going on? It's brought to you by Curry Racing Rear End. Curry's got your rear end ready and waiting for you. No matter what you've got, whether you've got a street car, you've got a race car, a show car, or you've got a rock crawler, you give Curry a call. They're going to take care of you. You tell them Diana might sent you. And DragRaceResults.com. DragRaceResults.com is the website to go to. Find out all the info on the Big Buck Bracket Bonanza series that you can go to and win big money. So, bracketracing.com. You know, I was mentioning the Flowmaster NMCA West event featuring aerospace components, NHRA Unleashed. Well, that's a heck of a name, ain't it, Chad? It all is. All that. It is. All that. Before but I it's at Pomona, so that's all that matters. It's that's Pomona, what's crazy. California. Yeah. Hey, is this Diana Might again? It is. Look at that. It Man, is. I used to have wheels like that on my car. You did, didn't you? And, and, uh, they were so they much went. better on mine. <laughs> hey, I think those back wheels were a Christmas present. Don't go there. <laughs> I think Santa Claus brought those those down the chimney. Yeah, yeah. That fat little, You got a big chimney. <laughs> Had a little back problems after, but yeah, I know that for a fact. So everybody, go to Pomona for you, the NMCA West. See me there. You know, everybody in Southern California is talking about we got nowhere to race. There's mm-hmm. nothing to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fontana's closed, right. you know. There's not enough happening. Well, here's an event. At Pomona, which, Chad, is an awesome track, you know. Oh, dude, great not track. only great preparation, but come on. The start and end of the NHRA national event, you know, Are full there? throttle yeah. drag racing series is there. It's yeah. Pomona. It's well, epic. Well, here's the issue. Some people actually thought it was sold out. It's not, but you better get in before it does. So get online, sign up so you can be there. Be there, be square. Right, Lucky? Race a quarter mile at Pomona. And uh, come on down and see us in the Curry Speed Scene Live booth in the Vendor Midway. We're going to be handing out Curry catalogs and stickers. And you can put that Speed Scene Live sticker on your car. In fact, ask Diana Mike. She'll put it on your car personally. Nice. Uh, Wait a second. Hold on. You're telling me that the NMCA and NMRA, they actually race a quarter mile? I thought uh, we didn't do that anymore. No, they didn't do a quarter <laughs> mile. They go all, all the way. All the way. Yes. Now, there are some stuff back east. You know, some of the Pro Mod guys <laughs> and some of the radio guys, they prefer eighth mile and uh you know that, that you and i can live with that you know. i can live with that but you know. for everyone else they say run it out the door baby we want to let everybody know about heads up racing ten thousand dollar purse winner take all free entry 10.5 tire heads up race july 27th through the 29th that's going to be at woodburn drag strip now check this out chad Ooh. i don't know if you heard about this a bunch of 10.5 tire guys up in the pacific northwest said you know what we, man it sure be cool if we had a race this summer to go to. Ten guys got together. They each chipped in a thousand dollars. Wow. Ten thousand dollar purse. And then they said free entry. And now there's like twenty five, ten five cars heading out, and it's during a big bracket race at Woodburn. So there's a big race going on. There's also going to be this class, ten thousand dollars, free entry. These are guys that said, I'm tired of somebody else. I'm tired of waiting for somebody else to put on a race. We're putting it on. We're stepping up. No sponsors. No corporate involvement, although I'm sure they would welcome it. But here's the cash. We're putting our money where our mouth is. Wow. I want in on that deal. I need to find out what the exact date is, and I'm sure that somebody well, is I telling told me you, I'm an idiot. Well, I told you. It's July 27th Yeah, listen. Pay attention, will you? July 27th <laughs> through 29th. You know, we need to move on to what's going on, Lucky. August 24th through 26th, ANRA. Summer Nationals. Oh, the American Nostalgia Racing Association. Yes. Great group. They run that. You're going to put your two cents in on every race, aren't you, Lucky? <laughs> How about July 13th through 14th? The Nostalgia Reunion.
Union at Sacramento. I'll be there racing the Curry Nova. Right, and July 14th, <laughs> UMTR North will be racing at Thompson Raceway Park. That's on the stick shift cars, dude. Yeah, unlimited manual transmission. Now we have two men putting their two cents in. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 hates wait, us wait, right wait, now. What about this car right here? This young lady <laughs> won Junior Fuel. All righty. Came out from Texas. And uh, these are friends of Rich Howe uh-huh. and uh, Max Cackle Photography. Came, this young lady came out in her car and uh, whooped butt on everybody all weekend. And her mother was online on Bang Shift on the live feed as Racer Mom, and she was cheering like none other. Oh, it, she must have been happy. Okay, okay, go on, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> July 13th through the 15th. What? You're still going Ken on? Tuck Triple Crown. I am and never Bowling getting invited Green. back. <laughs> this series has over 350,000 okay. big ones up for grabs. But you have a key. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job over there, yeah. Diana. Yes. Mike. Really. Sorry. We are we're yeah. a big fan. I have to put up with this, guys. Yeah. yeah. Hey, wait if, until the show's if over. If you didn't get the memo that this was going off the rails from the get go, <laughs> <laughs> hello, you invited me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be getting the cow prod out shortly. Ooh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> That's a whole I'm different out, kind I'm of out, show. I'm out. I'm <laughs> out. That's a whole different kind of show, man. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think that's just about it for tonight. We had a great show. We want to thank Chad Reynolds from BangShift.com for livening it up a little bit for us. Chad, thanks for coming. You're a great <laughs> guest. Well, hey, guys, I love it. This, the show is great. For all of you guys that are out there that tuned in to watch us uh, because of our announcements this week, make sure you tune in every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific for Speed Scene Live because these guys are doing it for real, covering everything for the Sportsman Drag Racer. And this is completely... 100% bang shift approved. Wow, look at wow, this guy. What nice. a major talent. <laughs> nice. Unbelievable. All right, hey, Lucky, we'll see you next week. That's right. I'll be here live in studio. I won't. Um, what? I'll be playing an organ with all my little friends. Hey, well, you know. I just, hey, I'll come fill her chair. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's going to take a lot to fill this chair, baby. I'm just glad you didn't say you are going to fill her seat, because that would be awkward. Wow. That would be. He's smart, Lucky. I don't know where to go with that. Hey, here's what we're going to do to rescue ourselves. The encore presentation of the show comes up next. Be sure to have a happy and safe fourth to everyone around the world, uh, in case you're not totally plugged in, you know, from America, we wish you uh, all the happy Independence Days that you've got wherever you may be living right now. So, uh, assuming, of course, you have such a day, and if not, hey, man, let's work on it, all right? I'm not quite sure I'm going with that, but I like the sound of it so far. Next year, I'll get back to you. All right, we'll talk to you again next week right here at Speed Scene Live. Speed Scene Live TV, the number one online motorsports TV show. Brought to you by Curry Racing Rear Ends, MH Tires, and TheFolk.com.